Hi, boys and girls. Today's poem is the Diamante poem. So if you could go get your poetry packet, if you have not already, that will be helpful as we go over the lesson for today. So at the very top of the page, it says, the Diamante is fun and easy to write. The purpose is to go from the subject at the top of the diamond to another totally different and sometimes opposite subject at the bottom. Next, you'll see on the page, the structure is there for you. Line one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So in that first line, you start with one noun. We're gonna call that subject number one. Line two has two adjectives describing that subject or that noun that you did in line one. Line three has three participles. Those are gonna be ending in ing telling about that original noun or subject in line one. Line four, we're gonna do four nouns. The first two will be related to subject one and the second two nouns are going to be related to subject two. Subject two is actually gonna be way down on line seven, you'll see there. We have line five, which is three participles again. Remember those ing words but this time it's going to be about subject two at the bottom. Line six, you'll have two adjectives describing subject two. And then finally, line seven is that subject two, that noun that we've been describing. So we're gonna look at a few of the examples now. Let's go look at this first one here about the cat. So cat is that first noun clever and cuddly. You can see how those are adjectives describing the cat crouching, pouncing, and purring. Can you imagine the cat doing all of those? Meow, feline, canine, and bark. Hmm, those first two are about that subject number one. And the second two, they start telling us now about that subject number two in the last line. Running, sniffing, yelping, lovable, smart dog. What a great example. Let's go to the other one here. Child, young, rambunctious, playing, fighting, tumbling, growth, change, development, maturity, achieving, working, striving, older, wiser, adult. Interesting. And then you'll see there's a space for you to do one on your own. And the two subjects are going to be day and night. And I just did an example that I want to share with you here. So it says day, sunny, bright, playing, eating, learning, kids, toys, blankets, beds, sleeping, dreaming, resting, dark, calm night. So again, you are encouraged to try it out. You could do day and night, or if you wanna do different words for those nouns, you can do that too. Um, but feel free to share after you're done in the Google Classroom. We'd love to hear it. Thanks for joining today.